Hi there, it's Connor, and today we are going to take a little journey into one of the, um, well, perhaps several of the happiest aspects of the universe, um, as far as I'm concerned, physics and kitty squeezing, and perhaps the physics of kitty squeezing. But uh, actually, it'll be probably more kitty squeezing than physics at this point, uh, and in a later video, maybe I will have some uh, better physics talk or demonstration or something. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm reading through some of the uh, Physics 2 Electricity and Magnetism work that I did last year, but kind of had to break down while I was doing, so didn't understand as much as well as I would have liked. But uh, yeah, the page that I was just on had like the uh, apparatus, maybe the original apparatus used like in the old school days, you know, like the late 18th century. Um, when guys are still trying to figure out like how the uh, electric charge actually, uh, well, how the uh, the Coulomb force you know actually operated, and it turns out that it's just like gravity; it's an inverse square. Uh, well, except that positive charge can be repellent, as or unlike charge can be repellent. In addition to, um, I'm sorry, like charge can be repellent, and unlike charge is attractive, but otherwise, just like gravity scale or magnitude uh, for each of the bodies and um, makes up charge, not mass, obviously, and inverse uh, square of the, the distance and uh, constant that's ultimately given by the permittivity of free space. But anyway, that's enough physics for now. Let us move on to kitties. This is one of my favorite kitties. Well, they're all my favorite in their own way. But um, this is Fabio. And as you can see, he's very cute and big. And Fabio, say hi hello to the people. Fabio. He's so big. I tend to rarely call him Fabio, actually. We've devised a number of um, nicknames, so... Often I'll call him Fluffums, or Big Fluff, or Big Kitty, or Fobiter Dictum, Fobstetrics, Fobinstein, Fobius Maximus, etc. But yeah, he's actually, he's very, he's very nice and calm when he's relaxed. Um, he can get kind of feisty, and he likes to trace, chase Trinity around a lot. And uh, we, we put the bell on him in part so that she could hear him, but ultimately, also just so that he wouldn't kill as many um, prey animals. And I don't know, my mom seems to think that it's like a tragedy if a chipmunk is killed by a cat, even though far worse things probably happen every day. But no, but I don't want to rag on her. I mean, I can understand that. But yeah, I don't know if he needs the bell actually because he's just really well I mean obviously he needs it because he could catch a chipmunk but he doesn't really catch Trinity very well because he's pretty pretty rotund and has kind of an awkward gait yeah we wonder how he managed to survive on his own before before we got him uh, we've we've had Fabio since about November 2007 so and he used to be he used to be very unapproachable um, I'm I'm glad that like over the past couple of years and especially the last year like when I came back from college he was just suddenly much more used to everyone and he used to bite me pretty much every time I would try to touch him and I couldn't really pet him for very long. Now we're used to hanging out a lot and he likes to give me headbutts to get my attention when he comes into a room. And he loves to hang out with my dad in the early morning, and my dad will feed him pieces of ham from his breakfast sandwich. And he's a long-haired um, cat, so he's actually, uh, you're seeing him after about two months of growth. Well, like eight weeks, maybe. Um, that would be two months, wouldn't it? Maybe ten weeks, that's what I meant. Um, yeah, we got him shaved, like, in early April, and... Um, it has gotten to the point where I think we should probably keep him at about this length, maybe slightly longer, 
but previously he had a lot of matted feces and dirt and stuff on his, especially on his hindquarters because he couldn't clean himself effectively and it was just so uh, disgusting every time he would walk by. I mean, I like to touch him and everything, but not that part and it just gets way too long. So hopefully we'll keep him trimmed down. Fabio, do you want to wake up? Do you want to wake up and say hi to the people? Mm hmm Maybe I can set the camera up so you can just see me snuggling with him. Let's see. Oh, that's a good shot. Okay. Flip the LCD around, then I can see myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, big kitty. I love my big kitty. Ooh, he's getting up. I'm trying to run away. But he won't make it. Fabio. Fabio, do you want me to pick you up? Hmm. Hmm. Try to pick him up and see if I can show him to you. Oh, yeah, say hello to the camera, Fob. He's so happy. <laughs> yeah, right. Best friends. Right, Fob? Best friends. Yes. Squeeze! Okay. You're very cooperative. You're a very good sport. Helping me make this grand documentary. Okay, well, I'm on a cord here because there's not much battery in the camera, so... I'm going to turn it off and uh, look for some other cats and then I'll come back.